Good evening, YouTube. My name is James Reeves. You're watching TFB TV Mailroom, episode number five. As with last episode, a couple of admin issues to address. First of all, I opened some letters last time, last week, and I didn't get to show them on the air because they were political. And that isn't to say that I didn't think they were hilarious. Portland, I'm gonna be there in a couple of weeks. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to show them on air. So you guys, if you want to, you can send me uh, political messages, whatever, uh, for my own personal enjoyment. But unfortunately, not gonna be able to show them because after all, we are TFB, the firearm blog, and we are guns, not politics. So anyways, enough with the boring shit. Let's get on to the real deal. Uh, now, I wanna impress you guys. I want you guys to think I'm tough. I don't want you guys to think I'm a little schoolboy bitch. I don't want you guys to think that I'm a uh, metrosexual hipster hybrid or whatever uh, that comment says. I feel like I've been fucking that up. I would, I, I've been trying to go, you know, somebody says, hey, uh, uh, you know, drink this beer. You know, I go and I get a banana beer and that's not tough. And then I get raspberry beer and that's not good enough. So there was a pretty promising comment on the last video. There was a good recommendation on there. They said, hey, well, why don't you go get a Shiner? Get a man's beer, you know, Texan beer, Shiner. And that's pretty, that's a great idea. Made in Texas, a lot of manly men in, in Texas. I pictured this guy, this TFB viewer, wearing his cowboy hat and his boots, sitting there at his computer, his, his leather covered computer and keyboard, and, and typing a message and saying, go out and get a Shiner. So it was funny, I, I went out and and I did get a, uh, a Shiner, a Texas Shiner, but it, it, it's funny to me because, you know, I know that my Texan friend said that, that Shiner was a, a manly beer, but this is a, a Shiner Strawberry Blonde. I, I, I always thought strawberry was, was kind of girly, but yeah, I, whatever you guys say, you know, if you say it's good, it, you know, manly beer, it must be, must be pretty manly, right? There we go. Wow, I'd, okay. I think that's uh, I think that's pretty. Uh, oh, oh man, <laughs> that is delicious. Hold on, I got to get another one. I love how I got the bottle opener. I realize these are twist off. All right, I've got one from Eric S. Uh, in Satchsey, Texas. I don't know how to pronounce that. James, greetings from Texas. Thank you, Texas, by the way, for the Shiner beer. Gre greetings from Texas. You suck, your wife is hot. Uh, from Eric. Actually, this is one of the most badass patches I think I've received. The Texas flag and it says yippee ki motherfucker. I like that one. Yeah, I like it too. Big Die Hard fan, it's my favorite holiday film. Right up there with the stupid kid with the BB gun. What's that one called? Next, Brian B. All right, smart ass. Alex C, TFB TV mailroom, Sacramento, California. Typical Californian. Hey James, I started watching about a year and a half ago with Alex C and his Mel Serp obsession. Fair enough. Now I'm stuck with Count Tacula in the 1970s. PT shorts. Oh, raving about the Taurus Spectrum. I found Patrick's video on assembling an AR-15 lower mostly useful. <laughs> Brian, I can't say that, but goddamn. Oh man, my friends give me a lot of shit for hand loading nine millimeter with lead cast bullets because I'm a cheap bastard. Oh my God. Look at my video, the double 1911 video I did a few years ago. You and Mark the Ruiner would be best friends. Holy shit. Yeah. You gotta yell like action. Right. You can yell action, I don't know. It's been action. Action has <laughs> been happening. Action. Will you ever do any reloading videos? Never. I wanna give a big shout out to Rocky Mountain Reloading. There we go, there's a sticker. Brian says they're a great company for anyone looking for reloading supplies. Keep up the great content. P.S. Pete, you sanctimonious son of a bitch. Actually, it says that. 
if you're a small business, you want to promote a small business, I'm going to put the link in the description below. So Rocky Mountain Reloading, you're in the description. All right, let's push through. This one from somebody in Jacksonville. Got a couple stickers. It's like a military unit that I don't recognize. Dear James, do you ever just look at your boyfriend slash girlfriend and think the M60 is a belt fed, air cooled, general purpose? Is this a Wikipedia article? You're, you ban yourself from TFB TV mailroom. Do not send me <laughs> any mail for 90 days. But let's see, we got a postscript. We've got an anonymous author here directly calling out somebody from Discus. And it says, and here's another thing, discus, discuss, ix and lol. I know who you are, one of my favorite discus, discuss contributors. I think he's Scandinavian. But anyways, it says ix and lol, whatever. It says that you're a lala fruit boy. So, PPS, come back to Florida, XOXOXO. TFP TV mailroom, the James Reeves. I've been watching TFB TV for about two years, back when it was watchable with Alex. Just kidding. Did he ever come on to you? You do put out that kind of a, I, uh, I look into your eyes when I'm eating a hot dog look. <laughs> All kidding aside, I love your videos and enjoy the great content. Keep up the good work. P.S. I can't believe that I found a picture of you 20 years ago when you were a swimsuit model. Cheers from Washington, Riley B. Thank you, Riley. Let's have a look at this. I can tell this is a Photoshop from the pixels. If you guys see this on the internet, this is a fake. I just want everyone to know that. I do have these trunks, coincidentally, but this is not me. Uh-oh, Stacy J. There are some guys named Stacy though. Stacy J from St. Matthews, South Carolina. I'm gonna be so disappointed if the first letter I get from a chick is a dick pic. See, the handwriting's good too. I'm gonna close up on this. You can tell not only which one of these people is a woman, but which one of them went to high school. James, thank you for your content in TFB TV. You're welcome. I can honestly say it's my favorite part of the channel. I find your videos very informative, especially in regards to concealable handguns. That's the only thing I know anything about. I haven't been a gun owner for very long, mostly because of living in places like New York and Hawaii. Yeah, that's a, a no-go. But thankfully, freedom rings in South Carolina where I currently reside. I don't have much else to say since I don't have any products to promote or any particular questions for you. I just wanted to drop a few lines to show my support and write my first ever fan letter. Fan letter? You're a fan too? Keep up the good work. I look forward to your future videos and content. Sincerely, Stacy J. I appreciate the your Wes Anderson book. Do you have a favorite movie of his? Looks like I had a question after all. Um, I would say my favorite movie is The Royal Tannenbaums, just because I think when I get older, I want to be Royal Tannenbaum. Lindsay, what's your favorite, Lindsay, what's your favorite Wes Anderson film? The Grand Budapest Hotel. I knew it was gonna be that. Y'all are making it worse than it really is. I'm not that big of a Glock whore. Um, I do love them, but, uh, and I do love the Glock art that you guys keep sending in. All right, thank you, Stacy, for being the only woman who is ever going to write into, and probably, uh, I'll post the demographics right here. You're probably literally the only woman who watches TFB TV. I think we're like 99% male viewership. So thank you for the letter. John M. W. Uh, from Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, this is dope. Rally Police, Capital City. Dear James, I just wanted you to know that I and the other members of my unit enjoy the TFB TV channel. Please keep up the great videos. Also, I wanted you to know that we <laughs> trash people. Think that your raspberry AF beer is an abomination to everything <laughs> that is good in the world. P.S. Go screw yourself. John Walls. Well, first of all, John, have you had the raspberry beer? Because it's really not that bad. Anyways, Officer Walls, thank you for writing in. Thanks for the patch. 
and watch yourself out there. All right, time to open the packages. And we do have another stack of letters, but we'll get to those next week. Uh, package time. All right, this one is from Jeff W. in Amarillo, Texas. More Texans, thanks for the strawberry beer. James, longtime subscriber to TFB blog. I enjoy your fun videos filled with humor and bluntness. I'm a small manufacturer located in Texas that specializes in Dillon Precision Reloading Machine upgrades on eBay and Amazon. I need to hook you up with Brian B. from earlier. My username is much shorter than other eBay users that you've gotten stuff from. It's JW-Systems45 on eBay and JW Systems on Amazon. I've enclosed three items that you can use to give away. Number one, Brian. This is calling your name, brother. Dylan RL550 press primer upgrade. God, this is like Chinese. I have no idea what this is or what it does. I do know what the Dylan calendar is though. I don't know what this is. Help smooth out the priming system, which can stick, bind, or make you grumpy. <laughs> Number two, a shell plate bearing kit that I sell exclusively through the web store, UniqueTech.com. It's designed to smooth up and stop shell plate snap Dillon presses, 650XL presses. Very popular with IPSC shooters who load major. And number three, a reloading component recycler. A no mess way to reuse your components when using an impact bullet puller. Whack it, flip it, and dump the bullet, powder, and brass. Quick shake separates your components with no mess. The best part, you can use any of my products to feed your Glock or even a 1911. No thanks. Bless you. Bless you. Thanks again and keep up the good work. On the topic of beer, if you'd like something tasty, try a New Belgium Fat Tire. I had dreams of drinking it with Mexican food while I was in the Middle East. It's my ambrosia. Uh, Jeff W. Jeff, thank you for the letter. Thank you for the stuff that I'm gonna give away real quick. I, I am not a huge fan of Fat Tire, but I realize I'm in the minority. A bunch of people love Fat Tire. New Belgium, they make some good beers. I think Snapshot I like a lot. Uh, but thank you, Jeff, for the stuff. Um, I don't know what any of, of this is, all these little tools and stuff or what they do, but I'm just going to put them right back in the box, all the things that he just described, and Patreon supporters, you guys are going to get a whack at this. This is from, it's like a gift basket company, or gourmet gift basket. God, please don't explode. Please don't be a bomb. It's a bucket. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's a bucket with stuff in it. Someone has sent you a beer gift from GiveThemBeer.com. Enjoy your Miller Lite beer bucket. Well, somebody's got good taste. Fuck the beer snobs. Enjoy what you want. Your dissident friends, Tap Rack Bang Creative. Wow, that's really nice. I and love Miller Lite. yeah, I love Miller Lite too. And I love Tap Rack Bang. And in fact, they're way too high profile to be uh, watching a shitty channel like TFB TV. <laughs> this is my favorite part. It comes with a bottle opener, but it's, woo, they're packed in tight. But it's the pint, <laughs> the pint twist up. Yeah, gonna use this for game day on Sunday. Some pistachios. I've never had a pistachio ever. Is that weird? I've never had a pistachio, but I will now. Tap Rack Bang, thank you guys so much. Uh, this is, one of the nicest things anyone sent to the TFB TV mailroom. This will not be on Patreon. This will be in my refrigerator. In fact, this was so nice, you guys are gonna get an on-screen, little boom, right there, boom, tap rack bang. I'm gonna put it on the screen uh, because this was so awesome. Thank you, Lindsay. What if that clip that I put up from week two or week three or whatever it was. That wasn't my wife at all. It was just like something I found on Vimeo. My wife is actually hideous. Oh, or it's, it's my boyfriend handing me beers. God, you guys would love that. You would absolutely lose your minds. From, it looks like xrayguns.com in Jackson, Mississippi. God, I hope it's an x-ray gun. I hope it's like the real gun from that movie. I think it was Eraser with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Got it. James, here's something better but not more funny than those dick gummy things. Man, that was funny. In light of the fact that your mailbag will probably be further pounded with such, pounded, 
out of pity, mind you, I'll offer up this item. I'm a radiologist and longtime machine gun collector and shooter, and I started making these one-of-a-kind x-ray gun prints for several years now. It's been fun, and my gun buddies dig them. I hope you guys do too. Enjoy. Houston from xrayguns.com. Holy moly. It's pretty dope, guys. This looks, to me, I'm not a radiologist, but this looks like an HK416 or an MR556 or whatever to me, but this is actually really cool. And yeah, and the frame is great. All right, so I love this. I wanna hold on to it. I definitely wanna hang it up in my office, but you guys know I don't like using the mail room to get stuff for myself personally. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, if you donate $10 to a charity, I recommend the Foundation Fighting Blindness or Madison's Wish. I've got a personal connection with both of those. Um, if you donate $10 to those or a charity of your choice and email me the receipt, I will raffle, I'll raffle this off. Um, it, the money's either going to go to a good cause or if nobody wants it, then I get to keep it. So I guess it's a win-win either way. So thank you X-Ray Guns. Thank you Tap Rack Bang. Thank you Texas for this delicious and manly strawberry beer. And thank you to you guys. Uh, this segment wouldn't exist and won't exist without you, so uh, keep the letters and the packages rolling in. Remember, if you guys want a crack at any of this stuff, sign up uh, at Patreon. I will see you next week. Take care.